uh, my name is Hovard Widsten. I'm uh, from Norway. Uh, I came the first time to the WJF now, like, um, and um, yeah, I've been juggling for 18 years. It depends, it goes like in phases. Uh, I also study in the university, so it kind of depends on like how much I have to do. But if I have the time, I go for like six times a week, something like that. And I have like super long practices, but they're not really like intense. So usually like, between four and seven hours, something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't really have a warm-up routine. I, I try to do uh, tricks that are not too hard, but like also I, I don't go really like fundamentals, you know. Uh, only sometimes if it's feeling really bad, like uh, I've had a long break from juggling, I might do that, but usually I just, I, I feel like I go for like five club moves. Uh, they kind of warm up the entire body because it's like a bit heavier than balls, you know. So kind of do that. It's uh, totally random. Like it could be anything. I don't have like a practice structure. I just put all of uh, out all my all of my props, um, and I just like yeah. I just jam jam around. Like uh, maybe I do some seven clubs, then I stop it and I do some tree ball moves and then I, I go back and forth like this all the time so it could be 10 tricks if I'm really like trying to film one trick for the camera you know or it could be like yeah 500 tricks you know okay. I think it's important to know like uh, the easier version first uh, but I also think it's a really really good idea to try something that's harder than what you can do I've always had like the mentality that if you want to get better at juggling you need to push things that's beyond your limit uh, I see so many people, um, I mean, it, it might work for some people, but for me, like the structure of perfecting the easy one first and then moving up, that doesn't really work for me so much. So like, because if you try something that's way harder, the other thing is gonna feel so much easier. Like if you're trying to learn a five up pirouette with, with seven, seven balls, go for a seven up and the five up will look so easy, like seem so easy in comparison. So I always think like, a combination of that, practicing like uh, the easier version, but also trying the harder version is really like helpful to me. It's basically when I feel, kind of when you're juggling, when you're starting out like going with the five club pattern and something, like the things you feel comfortable that I can do this now within like, there's a pretty high probability that I'm gonna nail it. Uh, that's when I feel it's ready for a show. Like I don't feel like in a show it's, a lot different from practice. I don't go for like, I want to get this 10 times in a row, you know, I just, it's more like an intuitive feeling, you know, like this feels good, this feels possible. Yeah. It's really important to have fun. I think for me, that's like, that's the key. If I had like a really strict practice routine, that would kind of kill the joy for me, I think. At a certain point, like no matter how, um, how good you become, how quickly, you're gonna feel stagnation at some point like it will happen to everyone and I think a lot of people get really demotivated then when that happens and then it's super important to to try other stuff like if you feel like your seven balls isn't progressing a lot try some tricks with four balls three balls like go in a different direction I always had a mentality that like everything you do in juggling will help everything else in juggling so uh, even though they're completely different, I think learning triple tricks will help for seven clubs, you know, because it's just your overall coordination and understanding of gravity and the props and juggling, like, it will get better. So I think it's super important to not only, like, if you feel stagnation, go for some other tricks and I think you'll feel a lot of fulfillment, like, for doing that, you know. Uh, you can go to my YouTube account, uh, it's uh, Horvard, uh, you just search for Horvard Juggling and, yeah, not many jugglers have that name, so it probably should be the first thing that pops up. Also like Instagram if you guys are into that. But, like yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah.